I don't know, this one's not really doing much. It's hard to tell. Oh, double sick red. double red. That's <laughs> rad. Check that out. Look, okay, I got mom and little baby. Catching cook is gonna be a thing today. Parker slack lining them on the gliding squid. Gliding squid. Oh, oh big old red. Starry eye or starry? Oh, that's a giant it's starry, starry eye. Oh my gosh, yeah. that is a giant starry. <laughs> Dude, that is a mega. That's Holy the biggest starry I've ever caught, for sure. <laughs> what was the bait of choice this time? I went with the shrimp again. Just thre threaded it on that hook. And Bubba Gump. Yeah, yeah, we're all fishing different stuff. Another red? Yeah. Dude. That's, that's a, a chonker. Oh, check that out. Heck yes. Sick. Dude, that's a that's chunky red. Super sick. He's probably thinking, I've never seen a scrimp down here before. Right. Beautiful fish, too. How would you rate these uh, eating wise? Um, I mean, honestly, they're probably one of my favorite like rockfish to eat. Um, they're fantastic. It's like a nice white flaky meat, great for fish tacos or anything like beer batter, tempera, fried. But I'm sure you guys will cook something good with it. Well, as you guys saw, we caught some beautiful vermilion rockfish, aka reds, as they're known here on the Southern California coast. Something I've actually never done with any of our local saltwater fish is actually fry it. I kind of only fry freshwater fish as we're traveling the country. So, really curious to see how one of many people's favorite eating rockfish uh, does. And today we're going to be using catching cook. It's a really simple process. I've got some egg wash here for the wet portion. We've got our beautiful vermilion rockfish fillets here. I'm gonna go ahead and trim out some of the bones that run along the lateral line and get them into serving size portions. We're gonna douse them with some of the catch and cook seasoning and then right into the catch and cook pre-made batter and right into the hot oil some bones right along that lateral line here. So I'm really just gonna cut them out. Nobody likes choking on fish bones. You can feel them as you run your fingers up and down the fillet right there on the lateral line. So we'll just cut right on the inside of it. Trim all that hazardous bone out of our meat. And that's probably big enough to cut into two. If you guys are new to eating fish, or new to fishing, welcome by the way. Rockfish are a great beginner fish if you're looking to do some of this catch and cook yourself. It lacks any strong flavor or overbearing fishiness, especially when you catch and source it yourself. Nice clean white meat, and it's perfect for this easy frying recipe. So once you got all the pieces trimmed, I'm gonna pick, let's go with the white out. It's a garlic based seasoning. And I've always been a proponent of seasoning the fish itself before the batter so you don't lose all the seasoning in the batter. Next step, super easy, take your seasoned vermilion fillets, wet them in the beaten egg mixture, and then straight into the catch and cook batter. Just like that. And then from here, it's gonna go straight into the oil. And today we're using this super dope pan from Made with some peanut oil and then drop it right in. And with any frying recipe, you pretty much just wanna fry them until it's golden brown on one side and only turn them once. As you guys can see, nice golden brown crisp. Kinda of gotten away from using paper towels to soak up the excess. So I'm just gonna let as much of that peanut oil drip off of the filet as I can. And then we're gonna place it on a cookie sheet with a little bit of a wrap. That way the fillets aren't sitting in their own oil. This is the first time I've used this catch and cook uh, batter, but so far so good. That was about as easy as it gets right there. 
All right, moment of truth. First taste test with the catch and cook in Vermilion Rockfish. That's really good. Good job, guys. I'm a fan. I can taste some of the garlic seasoning. I can taste the original formula of catch and cook here. In the back of the directions, it gave an option to create a double layer of the catch and cook for an extra crispy experience, but especially with good fish, I want to enjoy the actual flavor and texture of that vermilion rockfish. We chose to go with one coat. Look at that. Well, I can do that. I'm gonna get the rest of this fish battered and, and fried and sit down for lunch. Uh, appreciate you guys tuning in. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode of Catch and Cook, a vermilion rockfish. We've got a spicy version to try in the future. So be on the lookout for that. I ordered an air fryer because I'm trying to eat a little bit cleaner these days. So we'll see if we can incorporate that into our daily routine. Appreciate you guys tuning in. I'm Oliver Nye. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already. Uh, check out the Catch and Cook stuff in the description below. These pans from Made In are amazing. Check them out in the description below as well. And as always, name High Dream Big. Catch you guys later. That real deal, raw uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My drag hit. It's to make a catch fish, get him in the neck, quick cash for another step. That real deal, raw uncut, still chasing PBs, cause it's never enough. My Medium light, hit. graphite for the subtlest bites. Some bright blue skies, not a cloud in sight. It's dynamite when I drop, and the school ignites, pinning them down on the